Happy Tuesday and welcome to Fox 17 Unfiltered. I'm Max Goldwasser. A little bit of a different setup for mm -hmm. today. We got our, our aprons on. Our paint is at the ready because we're going to be getting our, our hands dirty today, aren't we? Yes, absolutely. Let's do it. This is Elena Turner <laughs> who just opened up a local franchise of painting with a twist on Alpine and Grand Rapids. Mm -hmm. Is that weird for you to even hear? Did you ever think someone would say <laughs> that about you? No, it's, uh, it's definitely weird to hear. I, I still am like, oh, wait. Oh yeah, I own this. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> a little dream come true moment for you. Yes. What are we painting today, first of all, before we dive into how we got here? Okay, well, uh, first we're going to be painting our blue tulips. I mean, tulip time is right around the corner, Mother's True. Day. Moms love flowers, so this is a different way to do that. Very relevant in more yes, ways than absolutely. one. All right, help us get started here. <laughs> all right. Well, first, you want to take Big Papa. You already know Big, Big Papa. Papa. There we go. Yep, we got to get him in the hot tub so he's nice and relaxed. Okay. And then you're going to take your Big Papa and just dip it in that dark yellow color here. And so you okay. just start painting. In just circles, kind of, right? Kind of, kind of like a sad face. You start oh, with the corners. Okay. And then as you work in, right, then you'll start doing circles. We're gonna, and then we're going to turn yep. that frown upside down. Exactly. Eventually. Now, this is a lot different than what you were doing before this for yes. 24 years serving in the military. Yes. Walk me through that experience and what that was like. I grew up in Muskegon and, um, you know, decided to to join the military. I had lots of family that was in the military and it was a good opportunity for me. I was working maintenance, electronics, avionics, aircraft, and parts that go on aircraft. So it was definitely not painting, mm -hmm. nothing, not dealing. I dealt with people, but it was coworkers and pilots and engineers it wasn't customers and artists and so this is a very different path for me yeah so yeah. so how did you end up in the military discovering painting and the power and influence that that it can have well I was always interested in art took art in high school I always loved it and uh, when I joined the military I got stationed in Florida and I got a job as a artist at a painting with a twist down there. I was working there part-time. I was working in the Air Force uh, all day long and then in there in the evenings I would teach classes a couple times a week. I walked in the door and it was like it didn't matter how stressful my day was. Once I walked through that door it was like all right we're gonna have fun tonight. I realized very quickly like this is it. This is what I want to do. Why do you think of all the things that you could have drifted toward for hobbies for outlets? What is it about painting and art that Kind of won you over. It forces you to stop and and see things differently. You let go and you work through things in your mind and your body. And your body carries a lot of that stress. Um, and when you're painting, right, you're you're focusing on doing something. You're creating something. It's a stress relief. Um, and then at the end of it, you know, you get to take home something that, oh wow. Hey, I finished that. I made that. That's amazing. I'm hoping we get to the amazing part at yes, some point. <laughs> yes, just big sad faces. Oh. There you go. So you add a little white in there. That's oh, where we're at look so at far. you. We're all right. Somewhere. So you got a little art in there. That's all right. I mean, everyone has stressors, no matter what role you serve <laughs> in the military. But yes. for you especially, what did art provide an outlet to? I was active duty. I was full time mom, and I started uh, sharing weekends with his dad and. I just, I needed something, I needed downtime. I saw art and I thought, well, then I have to do art because I don't make time for my art. I don't take make time for that stress relief. So if I have a job doing it, I have to make time for it. Time to let go and not worry about macaroni and cheese and, you know, cartoons and, <laughs> and jets taking off. I mean, you know, I mean, that was my life at the time. That's all I knew for 24 years. Um, and this gave me something to focus on that I knew would let me take care of my family, but still enjoy what I do. So next step is? We can uh, rinse our brush out here, okay. squish, squish them around, don't be afraid. Got to get all the paint out of there. Just start and just draw a line down, just real light, up and down. There you go. Okay. All right. I like it. Just a bunch it of It looks X's. a little like a, what do you call it, a barbed wire fence on the bottom there. Yeah. My, uh, <clears throat> my garden's in a very sketchy neighborhood. <laughs> It's okay, we'll throw some blue flowers on Yeah, it. I wanted to amazing. give it some character. I don't know if you're going to pull it off, but we'll try. Well, no. <laughs> it's nice to know you have zero hope for me. I have faith in you, don't worry. <laughs> I think I'm ready for the big let's reveal. See, let's see, I want to see what we got here. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's see it. Holy cow. Yeah, you did good. And I mean, That's we did it. That's at least a six and a half out of ten. We did it quickly, too. Now that you've signed it, you yeah. got to get up on stage and we got to take a picture of Great. you in your masterpiece. I would love to do that. Yes. 